Hey guys, what's up? It's Silly Toad Girl here, and today I'm bringing you a rather interesting video. Um, okay, so long story short, I was going on a walk. Um, I was up with my dad's. He lives in Lewis Center, Ohio. I was going on a walk. Went over to this pond, which, oh, I see a frog. Lexi, don't get distracted by frogs. Um, I was going on a walk to this pond that's like near the apartments where my dad works. And there's this little like creek, stream, whatever you want to call it. It's actually like the sewer runoff on the side of the road. Um, and there was a lot of fish there and crayfish. Um, and recently it's been like drying out. And all the crayfish have gathered in this one little spot over here. And they're in huge numbers. Like there's probably hundreds of them. There's not as many as there was yesterday, but there's definitely a lot here still. Um, I would have recorded yesterday, but it was evening and I didn't have my camera and it was turning dark and you wouldn't be able to see it. But yeah, there's definitely still a lot of crayfish here. So knowing me, I went to the internet and I posted in this Facebook group, Crayfish Keepers of North America. And, um, I asked them, okay, what the heck is going on here? There's hundreds of crayfish gathering here and coming on the land and they're actually causing problems as um, my dad works in management in the apartments by here and uh, he's had to pull them out of the swimming pool and found the people have complained they found them on their doorstep and it's just crazy, they're like everywhere. So yeah, I went to the Facebook group Crayfish Keepers of North America and they identified this, identified this species. Um, I don't remember the scientific name and I can't pronounce it anyway so I'll just put a caption here what it is. Uh, I think it's called like the Red Swamp Crayfish and they're actually invasive to Ohio and um, they're supposedly a really large number in the Sandusky Bay area of Ohio and um, they actually haven't been documented here yet. I talked to some guy who claimed to be hired by the state to research this species in Ohio um, to help with the invasion problem and he wants to make a trip out here to see what the heck's going on because he hasn't heard of them being in this location yet before. Um, so yeah, I offered to let him message me and we can meet and I can show him where all the crayfish are at but that won't be for a minute, so... But they'll still be here, I'm sure. Not in mass numbers like this, I don't think. But they'll definitely still be here. Because there are hundreds, and they are scary. These guys are getting almost a foot long, and they're crawling out into the grass. And I've seen kids wandering around here playing with them. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's sad for the crayfish, and it's also sad for the kids, because I'm sure they've gotten pinched. These guys are huge, and they're pretty mean too. If I put my hand up to them, they swim away. But these guys, they'll like stick their hands up and they'll threaten you. Look at them all. They'll threaten to pinch you right away. I, don't know, I can't get that. I don't want to get that close. I found a spot where there doesn't seem to be very many over here, and I'm trying to hunger down here so I don't get pinched by anyone. Um, they are kind of fighting in the water. And they seem like they're trying to climb up into the sewer, but they don't know how. And, uh, see, they're all flopping around and fighting. I think they're just fighting because they're getting frustrated, if anything. But yeah, I was asked to try and document this because this could just be a rare sighting of the, um... Well, I don't know if it's rare or not, but it's... it's certainly not common, but a sighting of these, the species of crayfish going on a migration. Um, and regardless if it's that or not, this is an invasive species and it's newly documented here and it's definitely a problem. So yeah, I'm just going to show some video of them now. He's coming right at me.
Get off my feet. kind of terrifying to be sitting here in the middle of so many crayfish. <laughs> Keep flopping on their back when they lift their claws up. I wanted to get a good shot real quick of where this is. This is like a sewer runoff on the side of the road. There's our apartments over there. There's a sewer runoff and then there's a bunch of rocks. Then this leads off into a pond. And that part of the stream used to continue all the way down to the very end out there. But it's dried up now. And I think that's the reason all the crayfish have come over to this area because it's dry up there. And there's crayfish holes still um, in the dirt. I'll show you a couple of crayfish holes here in a second. Um, and like dead crayfish laying around up there. But yeah, there was a froggy over here. I don't know where he went. These are the crayfish holes. Like little mud holes all over the place. So I guess they dig. There's one in a... Hiding under that rock there. Something I did forget to mention. Um, just a few weeks ago I came out here and there were sunfish all the way up in the stream. And they had like bread like fungus all over their face. And there's several dead fish lying around too. I don't know if that has anything to do with the crayfish problem. But I figured it'd be worth mentioning. Um, I actually just kicked a dead fish into the water over here somewhere. Oh look. That dead fish I threw in the water is actually getting eaten by a crayfish now. That's pretty gross. Yeah, circle of life, I guess. They're climbing out onto the land. They seem to come out on the land more when it gets dark out. And uh, some of them get stuck in little holes in the grass here. And this guy's alive. Oh, trust me. He's very much alive. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, these guys are not afraid to pinch either. He's got a snail on his head. I can't get video of it because the grass is in the way. Yeah, they'll do this when they're freaked out and they threaten you. Hey guys, this is just an update. Um, it's the day after I recorded that video. And it rained really hard this morning. Oh Jesus, they're everywhere. <laughs> Um, and the crayfish are on the move like crazy. I'm really, really bummed because I missed it this morning. I slept in. Um, but I heard from the neighbors after it rained about 6 a.m. this morning. There's a dragonfly on me. Um, it rained at like 6 a.m. this morning. It was a really heavy rain. And the crayfish apparently were all over the street and everywhere to the point where the cars on the road we're stopping and getting out and recording and so yeah it's pretty crazy I have never seen so many of them like this this is like some Louisiana shit isn't it yeah <laughs> you start catching them and take them back and eat them every 
you caught at before? No. Yeah, I should just start catching them and sell them for bait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a guy down there collecting crayfish with a bucket, probably eating them. He said he wants to sell them for bait, too. I told him that they're invasive and just don't move them to a different pond or anything. So, I mean, yeah, they are everywhere, and hey, if it, it's good food, I guess. If you're into that. There's not that many over here today. They all moved. You can see the water's higher on the rocks because of the rain. I mean, there's still a lot, but they've all moved down the stream or whatever. Or probably went across the road into the other ponds and stuff. There's a pool over there and uh, more tunnels like this. 